Guys, this is my client, Matt Bales. We are currently 10 weeks out from his very first, we're gonna do the, the new classic uh, physique division. Uh, it's kind of like where they wear a little shorter, um, like kind of like black tights. Sorry, my dog's down here. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I just want to do a quick little intro video with Matt. Like I said, this is his very first show. Uh, his first time kind of utilizing flexible dieting for his, for his first contest prep. So, and again, I'm starting him out. We've had to kind of make a little bit of adjustments where I've actually had to increase his food lately because he was actually dropping too fast. So right now I have him, which is a great thing. If somebody's dropping too fast and you get to increase their food, that's a great thing. I literally haven't had to increase his cardio yet and we're still 10 weeks out. So his current macros are 270 protein, uh, 240 carbs and 65 fat. And we just recently started incorporating refeeds where I believe his first refeed, I think I did 450 carbs. And then we're gonna do another refeed this week because he's been dropping again really fast. I'm gonna bump it up to about 500 carbs. So incorporating the weekly refeeds, and like I said, he's only at four, uh, four cardio sessions per week, one of those being a hit cardio session. But again, I just kinda wanna do a little intro with Matt, like kinda wanna talk about, um, you know, for a lot of people that have never done a show, or have never gone through flexible dieting, you know, you hear things about, you know, from me, but it's always nicer to hear from somebody that's doing it for the first time. So Matt, go ahead and kinda explain to kinda people your first experience through your show prep and doing flexible dieting. Okay, yeah, it's uh, been, it's been a trial and error and uh, a quick learning process and, and utilizing flexible dieting is actually, is really helpful in, you know, combating what you think you need to eat for healthy foods all the time. It, it really helps you in getting different variety and flavors and having fun with bodybuilding and, and enjoying the, the process. Um, so far, this has been a life change for me, not just only about bodybuilding, but um, a whole body transformation and just want to be successful in showing and, and going up there on stage and putting the best me that can be out there. And if, if I don't, then I want to know who, why, when, and where, and, and what I can do to be number one to improve myself again. And with these these calorie content and, and counting everything, it's it's just been going really smooth right now and the process has been really good. And just, just to give people an idea, you started at how much weight? We were at 212 pounds, I believe. Okay, and now, we started yeah, out, and now we're in the this, low. This morning was 191. Yeah, six. so he's already lost, what, almost 20 pounds? Yeah. Or what is that? Almost, 20 pounds. Yeah, so. almost 20 pounds so far. I and mean, again, we still have 10 more weeks to go. And um, again, like I said, he's just, the great thing about this is, you know, he's doing it the right way. You know, like he's, he's counting his macros. He's like learning how to like actually enjoy some meals, you know, like, the best you know, yeah. A lot of people, yeah, I think it's, for some people like, like Matt or others, they kind of feel like they can't kind of go outside the box and enjoy, like we were just showing Matt Kodiak cakes, for example, like, oh my God, like you can have these like at your refeed. You know what I mean? Like not just thinking he can only eat just just chicken and just oatmeal and all that stuff. Being able to kind of spice up his you know his daily macros and stuff like that, just to make things kind of like I said, it's just it's it's a mental stress reliever to kind of be able to, to help people sustain. You know, like I know I mean dieting is never easy. Being hungry is never easy. Combining heavy intense weight training with a bunch of cardio is never easy. But at least we try to make the whole process go like as stress-free as possible. So that's what I've been trying to do through coaching Matt is let this first, you know, show experience be as not only as most enjoyable as, as possible, but also as, as much stress-free as I can make it for him. So um, concluding this video, do you have any other closing things you'd like to say? Uh, this is it's been great the whole time. It's nothing but positive, and you know I have to thank and everybody else who's ever supported me in this and it's going to be great and you're only going to see success from here awesome so like i said guys i'm going to conclude this we literally just took some uh it will be 10 weeks out tomorrow so i'll conclude this video with some pictures that we took of uh matt today
castles and dragons, the battle.